It's always fun to talk about power, but how about taking away power? How about taking away extra bases? How about flexing your arm? How, how much does it mean that you now are a shining star defensively? What does it mean? Uh, I mean, it means just as much, you know, on the defensive side as, you know, my offense does. Um, I take a lot of pride in my defense and everything. I mean, I don't want, want our pitchers to be out there any longer than they have to and sa save some pitches and stuff like that. So I just try and do my part on, on defense to try and help out the team, get them off the field so we can put up some runs. But um, I take a lot of pride in, you know, what I do out there. Work hitting. I know that goes into it, whether it's in the cage, on a tee, or out in live BP. But defensive work, how much do you balance that out? How much work do you put in defensively that none of us ever see? Um, I mean, you know, m most of the most of my work happens during BP. You know, I'll always go out to right and stand out there and um, kind of, you know, track balls down and um, just kind of get a feel for stadiums. You know, if I haven't played there before or it's been a long time, before, you know, since the last time I've been there, just kind of get acclimated to, you know, the stadium again. and and how the ball flies with the weather and everything. So, you know, I take a lot of pride in, you know, my, my defense when I'm out there during BP and, you know, just the extra, extra little work, um, you know, with Gary Pettis out there helping us out, you know, hitting us ground balls, fly balls and stuff like that. Always trying to help us out, um, you know, kind of get acclimated to, you know, the field and just try and feel, feel a little more comfortable out there. Gary Pettis is a good one, man. Yeah, he ran down awesome. so many of my dad's fly balls in the <laughs> 80s. My dad's in the Hall of Fame in part thanks yeah. to Gary Pettis. So you got a good coach in that yeah, one. Yeah, he's awesome. In that vein, when you trot out there next year and you have that patch on your glove, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to your teammates? What does it mean to the fans to see you? Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, I mean, this is a you know thing you got to earn. You got to come out there every single day and you know put in the effort, going after every single ball, trying to prevent runners from going to the next base, trying to you know help out your team on defense and. You know, over the course of the season, that can mean a lot. Um, so, I mean, I always see guys around the league with the gold patch or the platinum patch on the on their glove. So, uh, for me to finally have it on there is, is pretty special for me. We find ourselves at moments like these reflecting. So, your brother Preston, the impact that he he may have had upon you to get to a point like this, kind of led you away. Is just a little bit of that pace car up front. Introduce us to him and how much he's a big part of this. Yeah, he's. Um, I mean, obviously, being my brother is a huge part of my life. So. Um, I mean, I, I grew up, you know, watching baseball and playing with him, uh, like in the backyard and everything, and, you know, just watching how, how he went about the game. And, you know, he's helped me a lot, and, you know, I still talk to him and stuff. And, you know, he's still playing, so we kind of, you know, go back and forth on stuff. Um, you know, in the off season, we kind of work together, throw and hit, and, you know, work on our defense together. So, I mean, he's helped me a lot throughout my career and, you know, on defense as well. That's outstanding. And, and then finally for you, if, if you had the opportunity to give it advice to a 15-year-old who's a pretty good athlete, like you were at 15, but he's like, I want to go next level. I want to stand here like you did. What, what are the first few things you would tell me to do if I was that athlete? Um, well, defensively, for me, what I do is honestly, I just go after every fly ball, every ground ball, and try and get to it before it gets to the wall or try and get to it before it falls. Um, you know, even if you don't get to it, at least show an effort, you know, everyone appreciates it, you know, whether it's in the dugout, in the stands, or, you know, on the field. So, you know, for me, I just try and show as much effort out there defensively and try and make smart plays. Um, you kind of sometimes got to, you know, weigh the risk versus reward and throwing, throwing guys out and stuff like that, just trying to hold guys, you know, to the, not, not letting them get to the next base. So, for me, I just try and go out there and put as much effort into catching, catching balls or, you know, preventing runners from going to the next base. Are you able verbally to sum up the last 30 days of your life? Uh, pretty crazy. Um, you know, something that not a lot of people get to experience. So it's it's a pretty special thing going through the you know whole playoffs and with with our you know team that we had. You know, we had a phenomenal team, phenomenal group of people, and you know to finally win the World Series this year, um, have that parade at the end of, at the end was very special. Having you know all all of Houston come out and celebrate was was awesome.